Suppose you've created a basic database report. It shows your information pretty much the way it needs to, but you'd like to refine it a bit and then print it out to share with others. To start with some basic changes, select the arrow under View, and then select Layout View. You can make design or format changes in both Design View and Layout View, but you'll probably find that resizing controls is easier in Layout View because you can see the data. To resize a control, select it and then drag the edges until it's the size you want. Notice that when you change one label for a control, the other labels change with it. To move a control and its labels, select them and drag them to the new location. To open the context menu and see more report formatting choices, select a control and press Shift plus F10 or right-click the control. Use this menu to change the layout, change the grouping or sort order, open the property sheet, and more. To see more report options, select Properties. The property sheet lists many options you can adjust in your report. You can change control names, fonts, background colors, and grid lines. You can also change the alignment of text in a control. Because Access does not save design changes automatically, on the Quick Access toolbar, select Save. A great way to highlight information in a report is with a conditional formatting rule. Let's say you want to highlight orders shipped from January through March 2015. With your report in Layout View, select the controls you want to highlight. To select multiple items, hold down the Control key and select the controls. Select Format and then select Conditional Formatting. In the dialog box, select New Rule. We'll keep the rule type as Check values in the current record or use an expression. The other type of rule compares values with each other by using data bars. We type the range of the values we want to highlight. Below that, we specify the format for the values. Let's make them bold text with a background color. This shows what the conditionally formatted values will look like. Select OK. Access applies the rule to your report. To make your report all the more attractive and readable, customize the color and fonts. With your report in Layout View, select Design, and then select the arrow under Themes. Point to a theme to see how it would look in your report. When you find a theme that works for you, select it. Access applies it to your report. If you just want to change colors, select Colors, and then select the scheme you want. If you just want to change the font, select Fonts, and then make your selection. For even more professional flair, add your organization's logo or other image as a header to your report. With your report in Layout View, select Design, and then select Logo. Navigate to the image file and select OK. Access adds the logo to the header of your report. If necessary, resize the logo to the dimensions you want. Move the logo to where you want it in the header. You might also consider adding to your report a background image, for example, a watermark of your logo or a photo of your signature product. If you created your report with the Report Wizard or Report Tool, today's date and the page number appear in the header or footer. But if you created your report with the Report Design or Blank Report tool, no header or footer is defined. To add or change page numbers, select Design and then select Page Numbers. Specify the format, position, and alignment of the page number. To add, change, or remove the date in the header or footer, Select Date and Time. Specify whether you want to include the date or time, and if so, pick the format. When getting ready to print your report, first make sure it looks right. Select File, Print, 
and then Print Preview. Adjust the report as necessary by using commands on the Print Preview tab. Zoom in or out to get a better look at the report, or change the margins or page orientation. When you're satisfied with the look at the report, on the Print Preview tab, select Print. Specify any options in the Print dialog box, like which printer to use and the number of copies. Select OK. Access prints the report, showing your refinements. You now have a clear and professional-looking report that will be easy for others to understand.